Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again, back with my first ever product revisiting video. Now, for those of you that are thinking I just don't have any more ideas for videos, you couldn't be more wrong, and I think that you guys will actually get something out of this video. Now, for those of you that may or may not know, I did a review of the LF Gaming Stealth about five months ago, and it is pretty much the most expensive gaming chair on the market. It may very well be the most expensive gaming chair in the world. Now, I've had this chair for about a total of six months, so I wanted to revisit it and let you guys know how well it's performed now that I've actually had my butt in the seat for half a year. So, let's talk about it. The first thing I want to talk about is just the upholstery of the chair and the overall appearance because as you guys can see I have the white model and I've got three kids under the age of eight and they constantly come up to me in the office when I'm editing or playing video games and one of them is a little chocolate fiend so she'll have chocolate all over her fingers and her mouth and, and she'll come up and, and try to climb up on the armrest or the upholstery. And as you guys can see from some of these clips I'm showing you here, the upholstery is held up really well. This Brisa fabric is ultra durable, as well as being a nice and plush still to the touch. And I've been able to wash off all of those little sticky fingerprints and you know pretty much anything that would get spilled on the chair don't have any stains on it. So in that regard, the ultra premium fabric has really held up very, very well. As you can also see in some of these shots here, the fabric itself doesn't have like any cracking that you might see in a leather-like material over a long period of time, anything like that. For the most part, it looks pretty good. Now, like I said, this is a white chair. And you do notice a little bit of the darkening and I don't know if that's because just where it's been rubbing against clothing or if it's uh, it's not really staining. I don't know if maybe the white part of the top of it's just kind of rubbing off or something. Um, but overall, looking at it from you know a regular distance, if you're not using a mic, you know like a magnifying glass to really zoom in on it, I think the upholstery actually looks really good, almost like new. So moving on to the padding now. Uh, overall, the ergonomics and padding of the chair have held up really well. The memory foam is just as good as when I bought it, and it doesn't feel any different at all. And the overall feeling and impact on my body has been really good, actually. I suffer from some low back pain from my previous job uh, and stuff like that. And the support that comes in the lumbar as well as the adjustable uh, lumbar there has actually helped quite a bit. I don't feel like I have any soreness or fatigue when I'm playing for five, six, seven, eight hours at a time, or if I come home from work and then sit down to do more editing and video game playing and stuff like that. Don't really have any of that fatigue. One of my favorite things about the chair too, since we're talking about the padding, is just the, the cutouts for the legs in the seat itself. I feel like that makes a huge difference because that used to be a spot for me kind of under the legs that you would start to feel tired and you kind of do the thing where you go and pull up one of your legs or like sit with your knees in your lap or something like that. Don't really have to do that with this chair. Now, it can't all be sunshine and rainbows, and for the most part, this chair is held up incredibly well. A couple of things I will point out is that the armrests are a little bit loose feeling. Now, to be fair, they were a little bit loose feeling when I got them new, and I imagine if I really crank down on it, I might be able to get them a little bit tighter, but I think the main thing is the actual mechanism for raising and lowering them just has a little bit of play to it. But other than that, going in and out with the armrests has a nice smooth action still, doesn't feel uh, anything weird there. And as far as the actual kind of rattliness of the armrests, uh, it doesn't really bother me all that much, but it's definitely something to be mindful of when you're dropping an arm and a leg for a chair. Another thing I'll mention is that the actual backrest itself does have some play in it. Now it's designed that way because of course you can raise and lower it and lift it up and all that. But I do think again, um, when you're using the chair and your body is in it, you're not gonna notice any of that rattliness or any play there or anything like that. But when you go to move it around or something like that, it does have a bit of a rattle to it, which may or may not be the best thing, especially when, again, you're, you're paying a lot of money for the chair. Now, the one thing that does bother me about this chair, and it's a personal preference, it's not really anything wrong with the actual design of the chair, is that the reclining mechanism 
only reclines the backrest of the chair. So your butt doesn't come back with you. So it's not like a rocking motion. And I kind of like that with some other chairs that I've had because when you lean back in it, you can kind of slide into the desk and lean back and it doesn't feel like your butt's sliding out of the seat. But with this chair, especially with the kind of slippery feeling of the breeze of fabric, when you recline the back of the chair, you kind of feel like you're sliding out of it almost, especially depending on like what material your pants are made out of. If you have like basketball shorts on or something like that, you're gonna find yourself just like sliding right out of the chair unless you plant your feet or find an angle that you feel like you can kind of leverage yourself and stay in the chair. So definitely something to be mindful of. Again, it's not inherently a negative for the chair, but it's something that kind of bothered me a little bit. So the big question overall, is this chair worth 1300 bucks six months later? I don't really know if I can answer that because there's so many factors you have to come into play here. I mean, is a $1,300 chair gonna be for everybody? Absolutely not. And like I said in my other video as well, I don't recommend dropping a ton of money on extras for your PC setup if you don't already have a beast of a PC because you cannot justify spending 1300 bucks on a chair if you don't already have a graphics card that can play games where you want them at the resolution you want them or a monitor that's as good as you want it, that sort of thing. Now, of course, you, you can't really put a value on your comfort and or if you have medical problems or, or back issues or things like that where something like this is much more of a necessity for you. In that sense, in terms of absolutely amazing comfort and overall feel, I look forward to sitting down in this chair every single day. And I've had tons of friends come over and check out my office or if we're in here and we're playing VR or something like that and we're swapping out and people are sitting in the chair, everybody comments about how much they love this chair and how comfortable it is. So really, the value aspect of it is something you kind of are gonna have to weigh, you know, is it worth it for you? Do you think that you would wanna spend that kind of cash? And obviously it's a huge chunk of change. So, you know, overall though, is the chair great? Yes, I love it, it's fantastic. It's held up really, really well over the last six months. And I certainly look forward to putting in another couple of years in this chair until, you know, maybe something better comes along and you guys will be sure to know that. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Of course, give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support. And if you'd like to see my original review of this chair with the full in-depth review, I'll have that down in the description below for you as well. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this chair. Again, do you think that $1,300 price point is absolutely absurd or do you see some value in it? You know, if there is some reasons to have a chair like this, let me know what you guys think. Of course, you can give this video a like, and I said that already, so let's backtrack it up a little bit. And I will just say thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at BrainBeanGaming to stay up to date with some of those giveaways I've got running right now. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next one.